today on Give Me Shelter. After a large transport arrives at Pet Helpers, Danya realizes some of the animals aren't good candidates for the adoption program. Will pressure from the staff influence her decision about which animals to take? Oh, did we not take him? I mean, we made the decision we weren't going to take adult cats. OK. Caroline organizes a puppy fashion show to get some dogs adopted. But will all of them make it down the runway? Rita! Rita! Get on up there. Another shelter is filled to capacity with dogs and cats. Today they have sent some of the animals to pet helpers in the hope of saving them from being euthanized. How many are there? Eight. There's eight? So we were under the impression that we were going to be getting a handful of dogs and about 20 kittens. Well, that's not exactly what's on the van. There's very few that are kittens. There's actually mostly adults. So there, it's a little different than what we had talked about or what I was under the impression. So those I would keep, this one I wouldn't, this one I wouldn't. I like this one. I know, I like that one too. If we were going to keep any of the adults, I'd keep him. He's sweet. He looks cool. He is look cool. You don't think this one? I mean, we have, I mean, the idea of this was to save, like, kittens. It's kind of turned into a little bit of a awkward situation because we're unable to pull a lot of what they sent. And it makes it very upsetting for the staff and for me. None of them have names. They're all 13 numbers. 130753. Well, there's one that's name is a big boy. Oh, that, he's over there. Oh, did we not take, take him? I, I mean, we made the decision we weren't going to take adult cats from out of Okay, I just, I didn't remember. No. I know, I feel guilty, though, but, I mean, I feel sad, too. It takes a toll when they continue to put guilt on me, but I'm tough, and I, you know, I know that I have to keep my eyes on the prize and, and to save the most amount of lives that we can, and sometimes tough decisions need to be made. I just want to talk to her about what the plan's going to be if I send them back. Today is the She Charleston Convention, which is a three-day women's convention. We are putting on the Puppy Wears Prada fashion show. We'll have a bunch of adoptable dogs who are adorned in bow ties that are made by Krulala. And we've really got a great variety of dogs here, and a lot of them are the ones that Danya has just pulled. So I'm really excited to see if we can get them adopted out before they have time to get accustomed to shelter life. Can you guys adopt these out already? No, no, no. no nobody's in. available for adoption until after. The... She's interested in, when, about Indy. Great! So come talk to me after the show. We're already getting inquiries about certain dogs. One lady is very excited to adopt Indy, which would be great because we just got her. We're not going to do adoptions before the show. We want to give everybody a fair chance, and, and it's something I can't handle on my own while also trying to get everything ready for the show. She just peed on the carpet. Oh, no. Yeah, let's head them back there so that at least if they're peeing, it's all in one area. All of a sudden, some of the dogs start peeing, which seems to happen a lot with me. So sorry, I don't have paper towels. Oh, that's somehow paper towels escaped my. Have the decorator. Um, I appreciate that. I'm, I'm very sorry. I didn't plan on having them walk around quite as much. Luckily, the folks at the event have been really nice about it. I've gone to the bathroom and gotten paper towels, but they actually informed me that they're going to throw all the rugs away right after the event, so I'm a lot less worried about it now. Aw, 
why she's so scared. I came in originally with the intention of sending back all the adults that we weren't going to pull any. But taking a look at them, I think that the little Siamese is unique looking, and I know we don't have any that are up for adoption right now here, so I think that we should give her a chance and we should be able to place her. Where's the test results? Is it on something else? We are looking for the testing that cats need to have, and we're not seeing it anywhere in the paperwork. So, but where, could we get those results faxed over to us, or? Yeah, we can do that. I just think it's kind of weird that it's always been included on there before, and I don't know quite why it wasn't this time. So the, the adult cats I'm gonna send back because, you know, we don't, we have a waiting list of like over 100 adult cats, so, you know. Oh, that's fine, we could not find the healthy ones that, the ones that's full. The kittens were actually sick. She knew better than to send them, so she started to pick out healthy adult cats and put them on the transport and didn't communicate that to me. But I don't blame her because if I would be putting those cats to sleep this afternoon, I would be putting everything I could on the transport and just hoping that maybe we would fit them in somewhere. All right, and I, I'm gonna call you back and yell if the dogs are bad. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> So me and Tallulah have a, a great relationship. She's a great woman and we've been working together for a while now. So I'm teasing her about the dogs, but not really kidding that much because now I'm wondering what dogs are actually on that van back there. <laughs>
that's it, right? Yeah, thank you so much. You're welcome, I thank you. Them. Sorry I didn't take them all. While it's sad when we can't take all of them, we have the confidence of the shelter manager that, you know, because you took the time to single these animals out, we know that they're adoptable and we'll make sure that they're not gonna be on the next euthanasia list. You know, if people would spay and neuter and people would adopt more frequently, then other shelters wouldn't have to be kill shelters. was the one dog that I thought that might bark and be a little overstimulated. He's in foster care and I really wanted to try and give some of the animals that are in foster care a chance to be showcased because people aren't seeing them when they come to the shelter every day. So I'd really hoped that that wouldn't be the case. I'm just hoping that we get this under control before the show starts. Aww. I want to walk him down to the end, kind of get him calmed down. I told Sarah to take Paul to the other side and just let him cool off and then maybe stay over there until it was his turn and then have him just walk straight up to the runway so that he wasn't hanging out with other dogs. So we'll see if that works. I'm gonna be so happy in about 45 minutes. Rutledge, you're a barky little one, aren't you? He's gonna be a little bit of a harder selling point, don't you think? Because he's got with that his weird looks. Look. I see, I don't know. The same hesitation that I had when I opened up those doors and saw him and was a little bit like, mm, either he's gonna be aggressive or he's gonna be okay. It will be the same look that adopters have when they see him in a kennel. Well, and it will help too, I think, if we house him with another dog, because then he'll look even more outgoing. Yeah. And yeah, I think so. I think same with Diamond, because with having her with another, oh my god, her ears. I agree with you. I think she's adoptable. I think she's, she'll look, go regardless. Look, look, look. Oh! What are you Because <laughs> Diamond is so playful and outgoing, um, and Haversham is, is a little bit more reserved, hopefully she will help him uh, become more comfortable and relaxed so that he can show everybody how wonderful he is. First unheard message. Hey, Diana, we do, um, like, take Tulula came in All right, Tulula. So now we'll have to go test those cats. What cats? All of them. They oh, do the batch cats? testing, yeah. Batch testing is when they take several cats and they combine their blood instead of taking blood from each cat running each individual test. If the test comes up positive, either they will make the decision to test each one to figure out who it is and euthanize that animal or just to let them all go. Every shelter does things differently according to what, you know, financially they could afford. So it's not right or wrong, but that's not the way we do things here. All right, guys, so I just got off the phone with Tallulah, and all of the cats have to be tested because they do batch testing. So they, I know, I'm sorry. I was really shocked to hear about the batch testing policy that other shelters have. I'm really glad that our, our shelter does not do that, that we individually test, and even if we do have a negative one, we still try to find the best option for that animal. We don't just say, oh, that's it. Right now, me and Brittany are testing all of the cats to uh, be sure that they don't have feline leukemia or feline AIDS. It's hard to, to draw blood from any animal while it's completely awake. You have to have someone restrain them. Some cats are easier than others. I mean, a cat, a cat can totally turn around, bite you, scratch you up pretty bad. All right, you ready? Yeah, go. Good job, baby. Ow, ow, ow. Oh, wow, okay. I'm here to help save animals' lives and to get them all home, to get them adopted. So definitely take a few scratches, a couple bites. I mean, it's it happens quite often that you just get kind of used to it. Okay. It's okay. It's okay. Right now, we're crossing our fingers, hoping that nobody comes back 
positive, so we're just kind of waiting to see what the results are. You can choose. Which one do you want? I thought I'd bring some extra toys along. Dogs tend to get anxious if they don't have anything to do. You know, he really is a great dog, and sometimes if they're barking and jumping up, it's hard for other people to see, you know, the side of them that we see every day. Delina. Yes. I'm going to give you, because I'm going to be taking pictures. Okay. I'm going to give you this. I've told them the order. Okay. Can you, like, be the person that's like, and go, and yeah. go? Get, a, get on up there. There must have been some, some miscommunication because Rachel is on stage and I realize she's already started and is ready for the first dog to come out and, and none of us really realized that. It's Paul's turn, so you know, whatever happens, happens. I'm hoping that he'll calm down. He's really a very sweet boy and I want to portray him in a positive light so that somebody might consider adopting him. Definitely some concerns as Paul made his way up to the stage. But once he got on there, something turned on in him. His inner star came out and he did really well and showed everyone what a wonderful, loving guy he is. That's the point of these off-site adoption events is to take dogs who don't present well in the shelter and take them to venues where they can shine. Kirby's a beautiful black purebred standard poodle. He's very smart and can sit. He's a really sweet guy. He's got a goofy personality. Unfortunately, he has skin conditions, so I was really hoping that an event like this might appeal to someone who could afford to pay for the medications that he needs to be on. Darius and Carol are two-month-old hound puppies. They were found on Folly Beach with their mother and their six siblings, so it'd be great to get them into a forever home. Miss Carol came to pet helpers from a high kill facility and is happy to be safe in pet helpers, no kill shelter. Hey, introducing Indy that was transferred to pet helpers from a high kill shelter. Today, if you're interested in any of these fabulous dogs. Thank you so much. Now, if you guys don't mind hanging around for about five or ten minutes, we're gonna come out here and we've got a bunch of people that want to adopt dogs, which is perfect. The show's over and that's great, and I think it went really well. We had a big crowd and a lot of excitement, but now we've got adoption counseling, and that's something that's completely new to me, and that's the part that I was actually more nervous about. While dog staff continues the intake process on the new transport, cat staff is running tests for feline leukemia and feline AIDS. So far, almost all of the tests have come back negative. He's negative too. Yay, he's negative! Yay! Stop being mad! We're extremely happy, and we always are when they come back negative, because that means that we can get them out on the adoption floor as soon as possible and hopefully get them homes as soon as we can. There's a lot of interest in these animals. We had a bunch of people come up and ask us questions and, and want to meet the animals, which is great. I, I just hope some of them turn into adoptions. She's really great, still learning how to walk on a leash. Um, so really just need someone to come in and give her a second chance. Well, you guys sound fantastic. 
and I'm so excited that Darius is getting a great home. A woman approached me about Darius. She was interested in him, and it was a really sad story. They had had a dog for years and years that passed away two years ago. It had been really tough for her. And she was watching this show, and, and something happened, and, and she felt that connection with Darius, and she was ready to get a new dog. It's awesome to get reminded the power that an animal can have, providing comfort and love to, to humans and how important they are um, as part of our family. Bye, Darius. We liked having you. I'm glad you weren't here too long. Darius was my first adoption, and it was a, a great story to have. You know, I've heard people talk about what a high they get when they do an adoption, and I, I totally get it because I was, I was feeling on top of the world. This was a great event. It went really well, it generated some awareness about our organization, and we helped find some homes for some great dogs. It was a win-win all around. I think that we have yet again proven that we can have a huge impact in not only our immediate community, but also in surrounding communities. It's always a good feeling to end the day knowing that the animals behind those cage doors would have been gone if we hadn't taken them today.